There's a new coalition that has been doing some powerful work around ending the collaboration between the Philadelphia police and ICE, ICE being the organization that oversees the, these detentions and these deportations. Would you tell us about the Philadelphia Family Unity Network Coalition and One Love's work to end ICE holds? Mm -hmm. So the Philadelphia Family Unity Network came together um, about a year ago, and that's um, One Love Movement, Victim Witness Services of South Philadelphia, a New Sanctuary Movement, Juntos, and the Pennsylvania Immigration and Citizenship Coalition. Um, and we came together to fight ICE holds, and ICE holds are essentially the way that our local criminal justice system, law enforcement, and our jails in the Philadelphia County um, hold people on detainer, what's called a detainer, um, to be transferred over to ICE. So for us, how we vision that is that it's a basically a back channel of how our city of Philadelphia is handing off people into a whole deportation machine. Um, so our big cause around it was that we um, wanted that to happen if it was going to happen in the open. Like, don't let it happen behind closed doors where people can't be seen and there's no accountability for it. So um, at first you were asking for just a little transparency. You weren't just asking for all out stoppage of it. You just wanted it to be in the open. Well, so what, what ice holds are is just that, is the non-transparency part of it within our city of Philadelphia, right? Which is that they hold people in Philadelphia jails and then are transferred to ICE um, in this back channel way. And so by stopping ICE holds, which is what the, the what PFUN essentially has, has organized to try to do um, and has done, um, we stop that back channel and just basically say to ICE, because they will find other ways to meet their quota. We know that that's, this is not going to end deportation in Philadelphia, but at the, at the least of it, it'll happen um, with transparency and accountability and where right. the community can rise up against it. Because if they want to come get people, they need to come to our community and get people. They can't do it behind closed doors the way they have been doing.